Good day! Welcome to Grade 8 Chemistry. Today, I will introduce to you to the most powerful and famous table in the whole wide world. That's really amazing. I want to talk a little bit about the creation of this table, which is to be clear, one of the crowning achievements of human thoughts. We all know that matter can exist in the form of elements, compounds, and mixtures. When elements were discovered, a proper classification was required for their easier and better understanding. Many scientists adopted different ways to classify them. They tried to find out some pattern or regularity in the properties of elements. The first among them was Johann Wolfgang Doberaner, a German scientist who in 1829 found some groups of three elements which showed similar properties. These groups were called as Doberaner's triads. Here, if we have a look at a triad table, we can see that the atomic mass of the middle element is approximately the mean of the atomic masses of the other two elements. As this classification was a primitive step, Doberaner could identify only some triads from the elements know. Other triads did not obey the rule. Hence, the system of triads was not useful. After the failure of Doberaner's triads, the next attempt to classify elements was done by British chemist John Newlands. By this time, 56 elements were discovered. He arranged all these elements in an increasing order of their atomic masses and found that every eighth element had properties similar to that of the first. He compared this to the octaves found in music. And therefore, this classification was known as Newland's Law of Octaves. However, this classification had its own share of shortcomings. The main points being that Newland could arrange elements only up to calcium out of total 56 elements known after which the elements did not show similar properties. Also later, several new elements which did not feature in Newland's classification were discovered. After the failure of Newland's octave, in 1869, Dmitry Mendeleev and Lothar Mayer came. They both came up with the periodic table that showed how elements should be grouped. It is interesting to note that these two scientists did not personally know each other. Both scientists were teacher living and working in different places. They both arranged the elements in order of increasing atomic mass while putting in groups those with similar properties. Why did Mayer did not get the credit for the periodic table? It was incomplete and mentally published just ahead of him. Mayer dropped his final version of the table in 1868. Unfortunately, he did not publish it. It got published in 1870, one year after Mendeley published his table. 
Dmitry Ivanovich Mendeleev, a Russian chemist, put forward a periodic table that was called Mendeleev Periodic Table. Mendeleev examined the relationship between the atomic masses of the elements and their physical and chemical properties. He believed that the atomic mass of element was the most fundamental property in classifying the elements. He arranged the known elements in the increasing order of their atomic masses and their properties, and thus created the first periodic table containing 63 elements till then known as Mendeleev's periodic table. Mendeleev's law states that the physical and chemical properties of the elements are a periodic function of their atomic masses. Mendeleev kept some blank spaces in this periodic table. The vacant spaces were for elements that were yet to be discovered. He named them Eka Boron, Eka Aluminum, and Eka Silicon and also predicted their properties, which later were found to be correct. When noble gases were discovered, they were placed in Mendeleev's table without disturbing the position of the other elements. The Mendeleev's periodic table, however, had its own demerits. Firstly, no fixed position could be given to the hydrogen in the table as it resembled alkali metals as well as halogens. At certain places, an element of higher atomic mass has been placed before an element of lower mass. For example, cobalt whose atomic mass is 58.93 is placed before nickel whose atomic mass is 58.71. Also, some elements placed in the same subgroup had different properties. Example, manganese is placed with halogens which totally differ in properties. Due to these irregularities, a need for a new classification thus emerged. In 1913, Henry Mosley, an English physicist, discovered that atomic number is the most fundamental property of an element and not its atomic mass. This discovery changed the whole perspective of elements and their properties. Accordingly, Mendeleev's periodic law was modified into modern periodic law, which states that the chemical and physical properties of elements are a periodic function of their atomic number. The periodic table based on modern periodic law is called modern periodic table. Many versions of this periodic table are in use, but the one which is most commonly used is long form of modern periodic table. I hope you got something from my lesson. Thank you for watching.